What up, what up? Welcome back to the Crowdfunding Demystified YouTube channel. My name is Salvador Brigman, and today we are getting into 10 Patreon tips from experts. These tips are going to help you set up your Patreon campaign so that way you can earn recurring income using subscription based crowdfunding. So, we're going to be getting into that today. If you have not yet, give me a thumbs up on this video if you like my content. In addition, at the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing a critically important message with you for anyone out there that's trying to turn their passion into profit that's trying to monetize their creative work this is going to be an incredible message for you that i'd love for you to stick around and watch towards the end of the video but that being said let's dive right in let's get right to it let's get into some of the tips that these patreon experts have for you so basically you offer people a membership minus five dollars a month to subscribe to basically more content than what you would get through your regular social media accounts. So the whole idea of Patreon is to um, create an exclusive experience for like your diehard fans that like w are willing to pay an extra five dollars a month to dive deeper and see even more what you're about and basically just get perks, etc. So basically, it's just a really cool way to get closer to your audience and help you thrive and actually be able to do the work. This is a stream of income that your fans would directly give to you and in return you would give exclusive content to them. I agree with it, but I also say go for it, give it all you got, even if you don't have a following, but I know that building a community around whatever you are good at or whatever you create is definitely beneficial before starting a Patreon account. So make sure that you build a community before you start a Patreon. Think about the benefits that you can offer, but be realistic about it. A way to do this, you can look at other creatives that are doing something similar to you and get ideas from what they are offering their Patreons. But make sure whatever you decide is realistic for you to achieve in a timely manner. Many of your Patreon supporters are aspiring to be just like you. So anything that you can do to show them how you do what you do will be really interesting for them. Teach them lessons, show them your logic software program as you record music, give them step-by-step -step tutorials, share your secrets. You're not giving away to your competition because everyone will have their own interpretations. There is room out there for every artist, so don't hold your process so close to your chest. You will be making a difference for so many people by showing them where you're at in the process and how you create. Think of yourself as their mentor, as their friend, and help them to be a better version of the artist that they want to be. Help them to be like you. There's two things that we've learned over the years which you've got to bear in mind for everything social media related. The first thing to bear in mind with social media is that your posts need to be as visually engaging as possible. So whether you're using photos to evidence something you're talking about or whether you're explaining it through a video, you've got to make it visually engaging. The second thing is that from our experience, generally the best way to communicate with your fans is through a mailing list. We use MailChimp. I'm not being paid to tell you to use MailChimp. I just think it's really good. And a mailing list is really good because it allows you to communicate with both your fans who you found online through Twitter or whatever, but also with your fans who you find in real life at your gigs and stuff. And not everyone actually uses social media. Most people will have an email address, but not everyone's on Twitter or Facebook. So this allows you to combine all of your fans together in one handy list. And then you send out a newsletter when you're launching your Patreon campaign, when you add new rewards, or just when anything interesting happens on Patreon. The final thing I wanna say about promoting your Patreon page is that you kind of wanna have a fan base already before you start asking people for money. And I know that's disheartening to hear, but you can't just rock up on Patreon and expect people to start paying attention. You've gotta already have something that you know through years of work is something people actually want and find useful and therefore are likely to give you money to carry on doing. The next thing you can consider is to give something digitally. You don't need to spend to produce the things and you don't need to spend on postage, wherever they are in the world and how many fans, however many they are, you can fulfill the orders within a click. And this is very handy and you are having almost no carbon emission in this case. Totally, I would say if you are digital artists, visual artists, 
do digital rewards instead it can be a very interesting thing and it can be even more interesting to your fans depending on what kind of things you offer i will give you some examples high resolution images pdfs time lapse videos tutorials layered psd files podcasts behind the scene videos it can be really literally anything you can think of there are some problems though, like if you give a manipulatable project file or template to your fans, maybe they will use it or their friends can have access to it and they can use it in a way that you don't want. So it can be a copyright infringement. So you need to be extra careful who the files you give to and what kind of protections you give on the file. You can have a lock on the PDF, not to have a printing or manipulation. You have to think it before just letting any other person access your files. Or it could be a behind the scenes video. Now I've done this a number of times and it gives my Patreons a peek into how I create my videos, what I do, the equipment I use and more. You know, people wanna be recognized and anybody that's paying you, well, if you feature them, if you thank them, they're really gonna appreciate it. So there's five ways to break out tiers. This is if you're building tiers, uh, you, this is like what you would think about. And some notes on tiers. I like to offer things for free or very expensive. So I'll write next to free as a caveat here. And this is how I approach all product creation. If I am going to offer an initial tier, uh, the initial tier might be like one to five dollars. And then I might offer like a mid tier of like 15 to 20 dollars and then a ghastly high tier of at least a hundred plus dollars a month because someone will jump on it and if you look at like arcadums and he occasionally has somebody in this tier uh yeah there's someone here right now just a person that's paying 777 dollars to him per month and it literally just isn't even a tier and i think we did the same thing with miko's yeah we did um and it's usually a good idea to have a very high tier that just like people that, that have a lot of money want to support or just really believe in you. And also keeping in mind through the ones that Patreon is such a low platform percentage that it's so significant to have a supporter support at this level because they're taking fees. The fees that get taken from you are maybe a little bit less, a little bit more than like a PayPal say. Whereas like if you... It, let's say that same supporter donated that much in bits on Twitch, like you'd lose like 45% of your income or 35%, whatever it is, before it even hit you. So I, I, I tend to like this idea of um, support, right? And, and you don't have to like, you don't, you don't, you can incentivize um, this. You don't have to like just say like this is a nothing tier. Like thanks for thanks for giving me your money. You, you can. You don't have to. How much money was I making when I first started? How much money am I making now? How did it grow? Let me give you some insight. This is just 100% honest. My income is publicly up on Patreon all the time if you ever want to look. I mean, whatever. This is great info for you. People aren't really secretive about money, but as creators, we need to be more open. You know what I mean? You get it. First month I started in... I'm folding my scroll. First month I started in July of 2017. And my first month, I was making $261.53, which was awesome. Like, so cool. That is, I didn't expect literally anyone to subscribe to my Patreon. N no one, okay? So $261, I was like, dude, I'm hooked for life. After one year of being on Patreon, I was making $1,448. This is excluding all the fees that Patreon charges, so I'll get into that a little bit later. My second year in, I was making $2,581. In this year, I decided that I wanted to make a big change on my Patreon tiers. Um, this was big for me. I was writing letters every month, as you saw in my tiers, and that was just really draining for my hand and it just wasn't worth my time really. So I decided to take that tier off, add mini originals, and add in another tier, the sticker squad tier, because I had just postcards for a long time. That really took my Patreon to like a whole nother level that I did not see coming. Currently, I'm making $6,346, that was last month. That was a huge jump between 2019 and 2020. 
I don't know if it was the sticker squad that brought people in or YouTube. I really, really cannot stress enough how much YouTube connects to Patreon for me. Like I will post a video and I get like 10 patrons immediately. YouTube really is just like this with Patreon for me. So that's kind of how my Patreon grew money-wise. This stuff, the stuff you give your members in exchange for their membership. This makes a ton of sense to me because I remember when my band Pomplamoose decided to revamp our tiers and benefits at the beginning of last year because the old structure didn't really work with the new upload schedule that we were planning for the rest of 2018. And in that relaunch process, our membership grew 50% in one month because we were essentially relaunching our page. It was this month long initiative to reinvigorate the band and our audience with new music, a new upload schedule, new membership benefits. When we did quantitative surveys with the inflection creators, we found that over 40% of them had done something like that. They had made changes to their tiers and benefits in the months prior to their inflection. Breaking Bourbon, for example, revamped their tiers and benefits on their one year Patreon anniversary, adding a $25 tier with a merch benefit and a six month thank you benefit. They also created a special offer allowing their patrons to choose the next barrel tasting and their membership more than doubled in the month following the revamp. Gary and Riva did something similar. He added an exclusive content benefit at $5, lowered the price of the ability to vote on video topics to $3 and then got rid of the early access benefit because it was just too complicated for him to manage. Over the six months following the tier revamp, his membership grew 220%. These are all charts of creators from the inflection study who revamped their tiers and benefits. I think you get the picture. The takeaway is that revamping your tiers and benefits is the number one correlated behavior with a creator inflecting their earnings on Patreon. But another key insight we learned from the inflection study is that changing your tiers can be scary. A lot of creators feel like they've made this permanent promise to their members with their tiers and benefits structure, and so they don't want to update them. But actually, we found that members are totally down for updates to tiers and benefits. Because remember, your members are here for you. They want you to be successful. If there's a benefit that isn't working because it's too time consuming or just not enjoyable, Tell your patrons. Personally, as a creator, I've found that patrons are super understanding and responsive if you're just honest about what's going on. Now, I had no idea what this meant when I started Patreon. I thought, sounds a bit complicated. I'm just not gonna bother. But it was the best decision I could have made. And even though my Discord server can be quite quiet some days, some days it's so lovely to see people interacting. So Patreon used to have a section on your page, you'd have, um, a community tab and it was like a Facebook wall so your patrons could chat to each other and upload things they've removed that now people that started on patreon when that was up have still got their community um, tabs on their page but any new patrons don't have that so I was a bit confused and I messaged patreon and said look I need somewhere that my patrons can chat to each other or upload images because I do art challenges and they said you need to link a discord server now it's really easy to do patreon talk you through it they walk you through it um, and you can link it and it just means that your patrons can chat to each other and it's like a message board it's honestly brilliant and to build a community it's such a good idea so if you haven't linked to discord server link it now make it it's brilliant hey thanks for watching this video and for anyone out there that really wants to gain access to some of the best fundraising tips and resources some of the tricks and strategies which you can use in order to actually earn income on patreon to get patrons to get supporters to get people actually checking out what you're doing online and of course as well turn your passion into profit i got tons of methods for outreach and marketing strategies and i'd love to send a free course your way all you have to do is go to the link in the description of this youtube video or go to the link crowdcrux.com slash patreon course and you can check out this absolutely free training this free course so many people have said very nice things about this and i think you're really going to find this useful particularly if you're trying to set up a patreon campaign quickly if you want to get people checking this out if you want to get patrons this is going to help you so much and really going to help you supercharge your entire launch when it comes to your subscription-based crowdfunding campaign so again go and check that out at crowdcrux.com slash patreon course and the link is in the description